Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Emmanuel Inyada. By the grace of God, I'm the pastor of the New Covenant Baptist Church. And I'm happy to welcome you to April, the fourth month of the year, our year of all and recovery. And this month, God asked me to tell you that this is your month of recovery of the loss. The month of the recovery of the loss. This month is a special month. It's a month that God has asked us to look for those who are lost. I mean, those who are far away from Christ. Those who are living in darkness and that we should become light unto them. As we can see, that was what David did in the pursuit and the rescue of his wife, his children, and those of his men. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 18 precisely, the word of God says, David recovered everything. The Amalekites are thicken, including his two wives. Just as I told you before, this is our month of recovery of the loss. And I pray that whosoever that is hearing me today, that you are lost. You are far away from the kingdom of God. You have not given your life to Christ Jesus. God is searching for you this month, and surely you are going to be found. And I pray for you and your household. If there's anyone in your household that has not given his life to Christ, that person is lost. It doesn't matter who that person is. And God is going to find that person. And God is going to, you know, relocate that person from the kingdom of darkness and to the kingdom of the light. And somebody will tell me and say, then pastor, what is my home? What is the blessing that I will receive as a result of seeking for the lost, there are so many wonderful blessings that God has in stock for those people who are in search of uh, the lost. One of the blessings of God for those who are in search of the lost is that they also, they are not going to be lost. They are not going to be lost. You can't be searching for somebody and then you are lost also. It's because you know where that person is. That's why you are looking for that person. So spiritually, you won't be lost. The second blessing is that the power of God will be upon you. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, And you will receive power. And after that, you will be my witness in Judea, in Jerusalem, unto the uttermost part of the earth. Those who search for the lost are those who have the power of God. Are you in search for the power of God? Then be the searcher of the lost. Because it's the power that will enable you to look for the loss. Somebody will ask me again, then what is in it again? Ah, the Bible makes us to understand that those who look for the loss, he said they are wise. You are going to be full of wisdom. All throughout the month of April, the wisdom to excel in your business, the wisdom to excel in your career, it will be available. Why? Because you are looking for the loss. And finally, the word of God says, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news. Your feet is going to be beautiful. Your life is going to be beautiful. Everything around your life will be beautiful. Why? Because you are taking good news onto somebody. And I pray for you and your household. As you are going to be in forefront of looking for the lost in the month of April, the Lord himself will endow you with his power, endow you with wisdom, and then your life will be beautiful. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. The month of April shall be the month of joy. It shall be the month of unspeakable, old, unstoppable joy for you this month. I pray for you and your household. Sickness shall depart from your household. I pray for you and your household. Darkness shall not be your portion. Everything you desire in the month of April shall happen to you. Once again, wake up to your month of recovery of the loss. Let us pray. And so, Father, we say thank you for the assignment you are giving unto us to go and look for the souls that, are, that were lost. And I pray as we search for them, by your leading, they will be found in the name of Jesus. And our life will be beautiful. Our career business will be beautiful because we will take the good news unto those who need it. And that your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen.